If April showers bring May flowers, then what do April snows bring? Well, probably a lot of unhappy people across the northern plain states today. Is there snow in our forecast? Well, let's take a look. Today started out as a really sort of a dull day with cool temperatures, but it warmed up this afternoon with some sunshine. Right now, there's a cold front extending across the state of Pennsylvania, and ahead of it, we see a lot of mild conditions. Here's a 78 degrees in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia, with a thunderstorm right to the north in Allentown with the temperature currently at 72 degrees. State College is reporting in with a mild temperature of 70 degrees. And across the northwestern part of the state where temperatures are normally cooler to begin with, we have 52 degrees in Erie with a light rain shower there. Now from the satellite picture, we can see that across the Erie area and back towards the west, we see a lot of low cloudiness. That's associated with a low pressure system currently over the Great Lakes region, just bringing this low cloudiness back and that low cloudiness really held the temperatures down today. In fact, temperatures were in the 30s across much of the state today and uh, across that northern states. And uh, the cold front extending along with that low pressure system moved offshore today, which gave us the warmer temperatures behind it in the drier air that you can see from the satellite picture here. Across the south, there's a lot of clear skies associated with a high pressure system. And across the west, we can see um, a low pressure system building in intensity, but that's going to affect our region come tomorrow into tomorrow night. So we take a look at today's surface map, we can see that low pressure system <clears throat> with the associated warm front and cold front building in the Rockies that'll be moving towards the east tomorrow. But in our region, we can see this cold front extending down through the state of Pennsylvania and off the coast. Ahead of it were some thunderstorms in the region today, and behind it, just that warm, dry air in the southeast that we'll get a touch of tomorrow behind the front. Now, ahead of the front, some scattered showers and some even heavier precipitation. And there was actually a flash flood issued in effect today for the state of Vermont, just south of this warm frontal system. Here's that cold, cloudy conditions that exist across the northern plain states. But by tomorrow, we can see that that just goes off to the northeast and keeps that wintry conditions there. Now, across the central part of the nation, we can see that low pressure system developing and moving towards our region. And it'll bring, anytime you see a warm front in our region, you can expect precipitation. So we'll have that starting tomorrow night. But tomorrow during the day, we'll just have clear skies and sunny conditions, real springtime warmth prevailing. Across the west, we can see another low pressure system moving in, but that won't affect our weather for quite some time now. So let's take a more detailed look at that forecast. For tonight, we'll have patchy clouds and comfortably cool conditions, and the low will be 46 degrees. For tomorrow, we'll see a great deal of sunshine in the morning and in the afternoon, so get out there and enjoy it. The high will be 70 degrees, but we can expect some increasing clouds by evening. Tomorrow night, we can expect it to become overcast with that low pressure system approaching, and a few showers will be in the area with a very mild low of 52 degrees. And for Friday, we can expect mainly cloudy conditions with April showers occurring and possibly a few thunderstorms, and that high will be 30, 63 degrees. All right, not 36. We, can't ex we don't have to worry about any snow in the region for the next couple of days. That'll just move off to our northeast, and we'll just have mild conditions and April showers, normal for this time of year, springtime weather. Get out and enjoy it. <laughs> Bleep that out. <laughs> 